Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Trip, the podcast in the car. I'm Juan Solo. And I'm Mark Ashburn. And today we're going to talk about upcoming movies of 2015. So, what are some movies you're excited for? Well, this goes without saying, but I mean, obviously, Age of Ultron. That's Ooh. the big one that everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, oh. Even if you don't follow, you know, Mar- Marvel comic book history, you know, you still want to go. I mean, even as an adult, you're kind of like going because of my kids, but not really. Nah, you're going because you want to watch it. This is... <laughs> Superheroes are mainstream now, and that's actually a big argument that some uh, celebrities are making. That that's why they're moving from movies to television because they're like, you know, movies. It's just superheroes nowadays. Whereas in TV, you know, you got dramas like House of Cards and. But I mean, then not even because uh, what's going now? You're getting all these CW series coming out, like you know, Arrow, Flash, yeah, and uh, I think they want to make a Supergirl one. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard anything about that. Yeah, and uh, what's called? I believe it's a Supergirl one, but it can't make reference to Metropolis. Because, hmm. yeah, they're trying not to not to interact with anything. There was another one that I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it had something pertaining to do with the Batman universe. Mm-hmm. Not Gotham, not the F- Fox series, but yeah. uh, a whole different Batman one. And that one can't make uh, what's called any reference to it being in Gotham. You know, because I'm assuming copyrights with Fox, Fox is, you know, Gotham. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But I don't know. That's just, you know, well, come on. Like, superhero movies, they're they're mainstream. It's making money. And it's just one of those where, you know, back then, you know, it really wasn't common to see a superhero movie compared to now. That now it's, you know, it, it's mainstream. So we're getting all these comic book movies, which I don't see as a bad thing. But I get, but again, I like comic book you know, I like right, superheroes. Right, I mean, I mean, you got all this whole lineup. I mean, this year you got Age of Ultron, and then uh, what's called, you know, coming down the line, you've got the Civil War happening. Yeah. You've got the rumored Civil War going on from uh, Iron Man's side. Yeah. I'm excited to see if that is happening, because if that is, I'm not going to buy a Steve Rogers ticket. I'm going <laughs> to buy me a Tony Stark ticket. And let's not also forget, Ant-Man's also coming Ant-Man's out. Ant-Man's coming out. I don't out. know if he's going to tie into the Avengers, but I do know that he is getting his movie. Yeah, and on DC side, I mean, it's uh, Batman versus Superman. They've got a Wonder Woman, a Justice League. And, and uh, the Suicide The Suicide Squad. Squad. Yeah. So it's a lot of things coming up in these coming years. And again, again it, it's mainly like, I know he brought up like, Avengers Age of Ultron and we went off on this whole thing but no it's because look at what this did like it is because of this this movie this series that we can talk about the sequels that are going down the line because that's what Marvel did they created this universe where they created you know all these superheroes living in the same you know universe and now we get all these movies we get you know sequel after sequel and we just literally see a continuation of all these stories and then adding in other characters to the stories that were already created. It's just, it's great. It's fantastic. I can't it, wait. <laughs> it is. I mean, there is those uh, controversies that they should keep it more more in line with the comics. Because if yeah. you notice, uh, some of the movies are taken from the Ultimate Universe, from the 676 mm-hmm. Universe and all this stuff. They're just kind of mashing it together. Yeah. But I mean, I think I read somewhere that the Marvel Universe is breaking down and restarting. Yeah. Kind of like the uh, DC Universe did at one point. Yeah, it's because Marvel, they've got like, you know, they had the Ultimate Universe and that was their kind of like, you know, okay, this is how we're kind of, we're going to branch off of it. And the Amazing Spider-Man, ironically, stuck to like Ultimate Spider-Man rules, which is like, well, why not just call it <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man instead of Amazing Spider-Man? But that's a whole different... Because Drake Bell is going to be say something about it. <laughs> he might. It's going to be like, I mean, man, if you're going to call it that, you might as well have me then. I mean, Drake Bell could play the part. <laughs> yeah, but... He that... voices the ultimate Spider-Man in the show. Yeah, he does, but... And uh, he's got the body for it. Like, yeah, but, you know, they're going to bring Spider-Man to the Marvel Universe. So, we'll see how, how like, that... How, like, that'll play off, like, in the in the future as far as that goes. But, but yeah, like, I mean, just... The Avengers as a whole, it, it's great, you know. it's They seem to be going good. Now, as for the whole comic book argument... It's kind of hard to take like a comic book because a comic book is written and in the intent that it's a series, you know, you want to hold these readers off for a very long time to keep coming back every, you know, right. Month I mean, or shit, so. how many issues does each comic book have at this point? I mean, I'm not even going to ballpark it because <laughs> it's a lot, but uh, I know uh, what's called. And then, you know, 
you try and find these older comics and you're looking at a pretty penny to pay. I know uh, I was uh, this close to getting a number one Iron Man, but it was close to $400. And at that point, I wasn't making too much money, so I wasn't going to drop, at this point, a freaking car payment <laughs> on a comic book. Well, I mean, look, <laughs> like, look at it this way. The Amazing Spider-Man ended a couple of years ago recently yeah. with issue number 700. And then everything that came out afterwards was just, you know, its own spinoff. Now that's its own separate thing. But The Amazing Spider-Man, the original series, you know, the one that started this whole thing, it ended at 700. And so, wow. like, just goes to show that how are you going to get 700 comic books and put them into one two-hour movie? Like, you just can't. So And 700, I mean, uh, they used to release them monthly, right? Yeah, back then they were released, like, monthly. That's why you would see, like, over there, or, like, on the corner, you would see, like, you know, the release. It would say, like, March, you know, I don't know, 92 or whatever the year yeah. came out in. And that's how you would, how you could guide yourself. It's like, okay, this is the issue from March of this year. Now this is the February one. So this is the one before and stuff like so that. So that means Spider-Man's been around for 700 months. No, because as, you know, we went on later down the year now... Because they wanted to put more quality into the, the comic books, they took a lot a lot longer to to publish them. So now it's pretty common that like, oh, here's you know this issue of I don't know Spider Man. When does the next one come out? Oh, probably not till like July. Cause oh, so then it's been a long like yeah, a lot it, it's been a while. 700 like months. yeah, it's it's been it's safe to say it's more than 700 months. Like, come on, like it's been around. Spider Man's been around since like like the early 70s, man. So it's we're getting on like 30 years, man. Damn. Of Spider-Man. And for it to just have ended a couple of years ago. Yeah, but he's not... It's still going. Like I said, they did their separate Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, but I mean, right stuff. here. Oh, right but here, it's no, gone. No, he's still alive in my heart. He will always be right here, Spider-Man. As a I black man. man. As a black man. He's alive <laughs> as a black man. <laughs> uh, uh, but I feel we're going way too deep into this more than we should. Yeah, this we should have been its own topic at this point. Uh, uh, let's go. All right, so I got to say mine. Well... What movie are you excited for? Uh, me? Oh, come on, man. Star Wars. Without a doubt, <laughs> Star Wars. I mean, it's been almost, what, 10 years? Return of the had, Beaver. Since, Return of, <laughs> since we had, you know, the, the, the new trilogy, which, you know, if you liked it or didn't like it, I already see you shaking your head. You know, but now we're getting a new trilogy. Hopefully, it'll be better because... One thing that, like, everyone's like, not nah, better. Like, Samuel L. Jackson's not going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he, hey, maybe he'll come back as a force ghost. Better than nothing. But, uh, you know, there's this whole thing that, like, oh, Disney's going to ruin it. Disney's going to ruin it. I, I, I don't know. Disney's it's, been doing all right with the Marvel projects. Like, yeah, they they have. And it's also one of those where, like, you know... Uh, but what's that's going to get an iron suit? <laughs> like, I honestly, like, I honestly <laughs> think taking away, like, the Star Wars series from George Lucas might have actually been a good idea because like you know the things everyone complained about oh the new trilogy George Lucas ah oh, Jar Jar Binks George Lucas like, on shot first actually <laughs> it was his idea to switch it so that he didn't shoot first so again George Lucas Damn. he's technically ruining the series even though it's his series he knew series. he was gonna sell <laughs> so he decided to take it down. Well, no, he did the smart thing by like keeping all like you know the copyright and like merchandising. Uh, uh, so what profits. the hell does what the hell does Disney own then? Just the movie rights? Well, no, 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 they own the whole thing. I meant back then. Back oh, then, okay. like any merchandise, George Lucas would get all that money. Right, right. I'm like, God damn, he what the fuck no, did he no, sell? No, now Disney, they have everything. Like, everything, yeah, they have everything. George Lucas. It's he, like I'm not gonna find my Han Solo figure in the Star Wars section. I'm gonna find it. Disney section. Well you'll, you, well, you'll find it in the Star Wars section, but you'll find it in the Star Wars section at a Disney store. Well, shit, it'll give me a reason to go into a Disney store. No, like you needed a reason. Come on, man. You were going to go in there to buy Gravity Falls DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Star Wars. Do I really need to say any more other than that? Now, for the people that are like, you know, skeptical, like, no, it's probably going to suck. You know what? It, it probably is because we've hyped it up as fans. We've hyped it up so much. So like, this is all your fault. That, like, <laughs> yeah, all of you. Yes, it's your fault. America. Your fault in particular. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's your fault. Whoa, 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 it's no that problem. person walking over there's fault. It's mm. those birds over there. It's all It's all of our Probably fault our that bit. Star Wars isn't going to do good because we've hyped it up so good. We've built it up, this up to like such a level 
that there is no fucking way anybody is ever going to achieve that. They can come close, though. I will, I will so say that. So, by that logic, we're almost certain Age of Ultron's going to fail. Age of Ultron's going to fail. Because we, we overhyped that, too. Oh. And there's some things that are kind of like, eh, but we're overlooking that because... We, well, that's, we're overlooking that. <laughs> well, we are going to overlook a lot of stuff. We're probably going to overlook like, Star Wars, too. But it's one of those where it's just fans. We're, let's face it, guys. We're assholes. We're always going to hate everything, regardless of what they do. No matter what they do, we're going to hate it. Oh, it's different from the comic book. I hate it. Oh, it's too much like the comic book. I hate <laughs> it. Like, you know, we're, we're going to hate it. It's not like Frozen. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let it go enough. I hate it. <laughs> We're, we're, I still haven't watched so, that movie. You haven't? I have not. But you saw the Uncharted trailer, right? <laughs> this guy! So if people follow this me on Twitter... This is I work with people, if, you know. If y'all follow me on promises, Twitter or Facebook. <laughs> he promises to do stuff, and then he doesn't hold up his end. Ah, I should run for president. He can't even watch... Like, take time to watch a 10-minute trailer... On Uncharted, a game that he brought in as his <laughs> upcoming game. <laughs> I did not sleep with that video. <laughs> I should run for president. We got room for one more movie, and mm-hmm. I think we can both agree that uh, this also touches our little nostalgia. Uh, we're thinking Jurassic World. Jurassic that movie's World. coming out this year, and uh, pretty much it's the way in the future version of Jurassic Park after they fucked everything up and they're like you know what FDA approves wait no that's food what am I thinking of I don't know <laughs> Parks and Recreation Parks Park. and Rec Bro. Well, it's funny you should mention Parks and Rec because Chris because Chris Pratt Chris Pratt is, is in gonna, it is gonna be in it he, um, he is the raptor lord he is movie. the raptor lord he is the raptor lord in this movie he, his job is to train and apparently play with raptors like if they were kitty cats it's funny that you you brought you like built up the series is like we make dinosaurs and now they're gonna fuck it up so for Jurassic World we're gonna fuck it up again <laughs> pretty much I mean they're like the plot is that uh they open this big ass theme park yeah. like Disney times a million Disney bought it and they're like fuck it we have this room <laughs> cause we have Marvel and Star cause Wars. we have Marvel and Star Wars <laughs> we have all the money now let's make dinosaurs. So what's called They make dinosaurs And then uh, everyone's super excited It's like Oh my god dinosaurs No cause nobody remembers What happened in the past They didn't remember That fucking In the second one There was dinosaurs <laughs> In the mainland Eating people and shit Like like when I saw the trailer They're like We created a hybrid dinosaur I'm like What are you stupid Did you just not learn From the last time You regular dinosaurs Wrecked our shit And now you're making A hybrid But who knows Maybe when the movie comes out They'll like go all science on us And be like Eat up this is why, in theory, it could have worked. Yeah, but you said that in part one also. In theory, <laughs> we made dinosaurs and they were all chicks, so they couldn't bone. And then, uh, what's called? Fuck, what was his name? Uh, uh, Dr. Grant? No, the other one. Uh, we can't remember his name, people. I'll put in the subtitles who we're talking about. Yeah, but yeah. Life finds a way, and life found a way, and it fucked us in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> And now there's dinosaurs everywhere. Second movie, they're like, we should take these into my park in San Diego. Pretty sure that was the location of. Now we'll <laughs> put another stuff. We're gonna play with subtitles this week. Yeah, we're we're gonna <laughs> we're like, gonna correct everything in edit. Anyways, but yeah, they're like, we're taking this San Diego. Boom, dinosaurs. Best idea in the world. Okay, that obviously didn't work. No, it didn't. Third one. They lose a child, right? I would have left that kid. I can't remember the third movie. <laughs> it's because they, lo- they lost a child. The, the child got lost in, in the and Jurassic the, Yeah, and they, w- and they went back. And, and they go was, went to look for him. And there was a new dinosaur. The, the Spinosaurus. Yeah, there's a, there's a skull one. Whatever. There was a mean one there, too. Bottom line is Jurassic World. Like I would have left that kid there. <laughs> the Fuck that. <laughs> it's like, you, you knew I'm, the consequences. <laughs> Billy, we told you not to go. You fucked it up. I'm not paying so much money for this guy. And then the people were fucking broke. It's like, what the hell do I look like? Turok? They, they were hiring Grant, and they're like, we'll pay you all the monies in the world. He's like, ballin'. And they're like, we're actually broke. Mira, William H. Macy? I can't believe he did that. I don't even know if it was him, <laughs> man. I barely remember the movie. At that point, as soon as he told me, we're actually broke. 
Assistant, we are on our way <laughs> to the evacuation helicopter. No, like I, I and, ha- and now what's called? They open the park, and apparently it's the prosperous thing in the world. And then they go, we made dinosaurs. We made hybrid dinosaurs. Chris Pratt is in charge of the raptors. Like, yeah. Who knows? Maybe he's going to work alongside the raptors because in the trailer is a part with him, like on the bike, and these raptors are like riding alongside him. It's like, are like the raptors like his pets? Like he's going to be like, all right, we need to hunt a dinosaur. Raptors, you're with me. And they're like, yeah, we're Team Andy. Well, in Parks and Recs, he was Johnny Karate and he had a group of ninjas with him. <laughs> so this will be his group of ninjas. He's Dino Lord now. He's Dino Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, just Raptor Lord. I, I assume his dominion only carries with raptors. <laughs> probably, probably does. But still, that is pretty balling to just control raptors because those things are fucking fierce. But that's just, I don't know. I just saw the trailer and went like, he's gonna he's gonna ride those raptors? Like they're gonna go alongside him? Because it doesn't look like he was trying to kill him. It just looked like he was just riding a motorcycle. And there just so happened to be. Raptors that got let oh, no, they, alongside. Yeah, him. they got released from their cages. Like, yeah, he, like but, left and then they got out. It's probably like raptors assemble. Like, yeah, that's, then, like, that's like what that. I'm saying. And he probably the named them like, like Iron Man and Captain America. <laughs> it's like, and this one's Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the most pissing raptor ever. Probably. But all right, um, I think that's all we have time for. Yeah, we're going off on a tangent. All right, again. yeah, we kind of went off on a tangent with this one. I'm sorry, we're sorry about that, people. But uh, all right, but once again, let us know in the comments what are your uh, upcoming movies that you're looking forward to or not looking forward to. Because I can tell you right now, I'm not really looking forward to that Terminator movie. I can tell you that much. <laughs> but uh, who knows? Maybe that'll be the topic for the next episode. And yeah. we read the comments. I'm not smoking my car. Anyway, we we'll we still have time to read comments, <laughs> just to let y'all know. All right, well, we'll see y'all next week. And digital, what the fuck's the name of this show? Digital trip. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay,